everything good and bad about Joe Rogan's alpha brain. The No Fake Channel, checking in. Jonathan here, and today I am gonna be reviewing Joe Rogan's Alpha Brain Memory and Focus Supplement. I'm gonna go over the ingredients, the cost, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Now, if this is your first time to the channel, welcome aboard. I review supplements every week, and for those of you who are not familiar with on it, that is the parent company that produces Alpha Brain. It was established in 2010 by Aubrey Marcus and none other than Joe Rogan. Most of you know Joe Rogan from his famous podcast, The Joe Rogan Experience, but he's also a comedian, an MMA commentator, as well as a uh, actor. He's acted in TV, movies, and probably his biggest acting career was as the host of Fear Factor. On it has been around for over 12 years, but they've mainly stuck to their core principles, selling supplements as well as functional equipment and workout programs. Now, their biggest seller since day one has been the Alpha Brain Memory and Focus product that you see here. It's one that Joe Rogan touts so much on his podcast and just stands by as obviously a part owner of the company. Company, but something that he uses himself. So let's quickly go over the ingredients and give you the good. Number one, absolutely no caffeine and no stimulants. And why is that good? We live in an over-caffeinated society between coffees and teas and energy drinks and pre-workouts. And the last thing we probably need is more caffeine in our life. Also, the fact that it's caffeine-free means you can take it whenever you want. You can take it later in the evening and not have to worry about getting to sleep. Also, a great thing with regards to Alpha Brain are the ingredients. And I say that because all of the ingredients on here, aside from maybe one, in my personal opinion, is really aligned with giving you better memory, giving you better focus, giving you better mental acuity, and that's what you're buying this for. And that's really where the good kind of ends. One serving is going to be two pills, and that will come into our discussion a little bit later. But the big standout that's a negative for Alpha Brain is that they use a proprietary label. Now, supplement companies will tell you proprietary labels are so other companies can't steal their, their ingredients and their dosages, but that's a little bit misleading. Ironically, be based on how that they break down their proprietary label on here, you have a pretty good idea of how much of each ingredient is in here, at least approximately. And and unfortunately, most supplement companies will use proprietary labels so that they can put less of the expensive ingredients in here and more of the inexpensive ingredients in order to save themselves money while making their label look very, very good. Alpha Brain has three proprietary blends and it really allows you to highlight how they are underdosing this product. So the first blend has four ingredients at 650 milligrams. Now the first ingredient says it is L-tyrosine. That is an amino acid that is great for focus. Typically, when you are seeing it in for focus in uh, products such as this, you will see it at a minimum of 500 milligrams and upwards of two full grams. So the fact that this has four ingredients and L-tyrosine is gonna be well under that 500 milligram mark shows you that they are underdosing this product. Another example on here is their on it focus blend and this is comes in at 240 milligrams so they do have alpha gpc which is a great product used in alzheimer's patients and frankly i think it's a fantastic product i'm glad to see it in here usually you will see that come in in terms of a dosage at 600 milligrams which will yield 300 milligrams in the system this whole blend that they have starts off at 240 and it's got a whole bunch of other stuff in here so clearly you can see that they are underdosing that alpha gpc in this product now one ingredient that they put in here that i just particularly don't care for is l-theanine typically companies will put in l-theanine to help kind of calm you down and balance you out and usually it's mixed with caffeine so that you get a nice even keel of energy but since there's no caffeine in here i'd rather them not put that in here because i feel like it's going to kind of blunt your acuity level with regards to this product now as far as my experience on this product i have taken half the bottle now which is going to be seven servings and i will say there's a little bit of a bump there's a little bit of a pick me up with regards to your focus and your mental mood, so to speak. I will say it is slight. Oftentimes when people see this stuff, they expect to be Bradley Cooper from Limitless. I'll tell you, you're not even going to be the dude from the Limitless TV show on this stuff. It is slight. It is minimal, but it is there. Woo! We talked about the good. We talked about the bad. Let's talk about the ugly. One of the ways that Onnit brings in new customers is by giving their product away for 
free. It's a great plan. It's a great ploy. You go on, all you got to do is pay shipping and handling, and you get this 30 pill bottle for about $6, which equates to 30 cents per serving. Some of the misleading, but not necessarily false information is that you see that you get a free 30 capsule bottle for only shipping. Well, 30 capsules is only 15 servings. Keep that in mind. So oftentimes when you see this, people assume they've got a full month supply and they don't. The other problem with that free bottle that you get is that you automatically get signed up for a subscription, which means that they are automatically gonna renew and charge your credit card, whether you want it or not, and keep sending you Alpha Brain consistently so that you have it, so that you don't run out, so that they keep making money off the deal. And unfortunately, that's what a lot of companies do, so I'm not necessarily mad at on it. It's a marketing ploy that works very well because most of us sign up for stuff and we just forget. And next thing you know, you get a couple of bottles in here and you forget and you've already had like a six month supply before you realize you're not even gonna be using it or you're not using it as frequently or in fact, you just don't like it and you want to cancel, but you're already six months down the road and you've then paid the full price for the full size bottles. How much does Joe Rogan's Alpha Brain actually cost? Well, if you go over to the Onnit website and you buy a bundle, which will save you some money and then you hit the subscription, discount, which is the way to save the most money, you get this down to $1.50. If you just go on Amazon and buy an individual bottle, it will be higher per serving, but $1.50 is about what you can get again with that subscription. Now, for many people, $1.50, that's not that big of a deal because you're paying $3 for a cup of coffee. Keep in mind when Joe Rogan talks about using this before his comedy shows or before his commenta commentating, he'll talk about taking three or four servings at a time. So if you take three servings of that, you're at $4.50 at a go. And now it's time. It is time for Fate of the Union, where I give you my final thoughts on Joe Rogan's Alpha Brain Memory and Focus product. Overall, it does have good ingredients in here, and unfortunately, I don't think it's shady some of the marketing practices that they use because they're frequent and common among, among a lot of other companies. I just don't happen to appreciate or like them, and I think it tends to get people scammed into buying stuff that they don't necessarily want. The product itself is just simply underdosed, and I don't like the fact that they have proprietary labels. There's a lot of great other memory products out there if you are looking for them that are higher dosages and even probably cost you a little bit less per serving. Oftentimes those are mixed with caffeine so if you are looking for a caffeine free product that does bring the sample size of potential products down just a little bit. Comment down below if you used Alpha Brain from on it and what your personal thoughts are. Now if you made it to the finish line, you made it to the end of the video, you and I are best friends. That's right, we're like Joe Rogan and Spotify. Thanks for watching and as you don't save anything for the trip back. Three, two.